Mm, so, um, hello students, our today's lecture uh, will be devoted to telephone network. Uh, so, telephone networks, uh, they use circuit switching and uh, it had its beginnings in the late of uh, 18th and as the entire network, which is referred to as a plain old telephone system, uh, was originally an analog system using analog signals to transmit voice. And uh, in this lecture, we'll discuss um, following subsections, which is the first, its major components, second, its uh, telephone networks, signaling, and uh, uh, some services uh, which are provided by telephone networks. Uh, so here in this picture is given a telephone system, and here is, for example, given uh, several telephones. Uh, here is, it starts with and offices, trunk, uh, tandem offices, and uh, uh, as the signal is sent uh, in a final step to regional offices. Uh, so this uh, internal telephone network services, they are provided by local exchange ca carriers. Uh, so since 1996, uh, there were two types of them, uh, which is the first, it's incumbent local exchange carriers and the competitive local exchange carriers. Uh, so here uh, is given uh, switching offices in this telephone network. So here is the um, basic thing. It's here tandem offices and it's divided to several parts, um, which uh, again, uh, all signals are sent to the local loops. Local loops here, they play the role of the function of a, a telephone. So here also in this figure, given point of presences. Uh, so here, uh, they will, for example, we have a big network. It divides uh, to the two two offices, I, X, C, A, and then each of these two offices, it, uh, the signal is uh, sent to the uh, each central office, uh, which is in this case is tandem office. And from each part of tandem office, the signals are sent to the end offices. And the end offices, in this case, it's the telephones. So here is given a general picture of how this network works. Uh, so the note here is to mention that the tasks of data transfer and the signaling are separated in modern telephone networks. Uh, so data transfer is done by one network, signaling by another. Uh, so here uh, is given data transfer and signal networks. The whole thing uh, in this picture is known as data transfer network. So here uh, is shown how two telephones are connected to each other. So here on the left side, given one telephone, on the right side, another. And here um, in the picture, as in blue, denoted the signal networks and how they transmit signal between two telephones. Uh, so, and this figure uh, in this um, telephone network, they are divided like into several layers, and uh, these levels are in total four. Uh, so here, um, on the right side of the picture, given the main uh, ideas behind them, so for example, MTP, it's a message transfer part, uh, as CCP, it's signaling connection control point. TCAP, it's transaction capabilities application port, and etc. So uh, here they consist of four layers. First, it's physical, second, data links, third, network, and uh, the last, it's upper layer. Mm, so here, actually, we'll talk about modern standards, and uh, uh, they mentioned about traditional telephones that actually they can carry frequencies between 30 and uh, 3,300 uh, and all this range between uh, these two numbers is used for transmitting voice. So a great deal of in interference and the distortion can be accepted without loss of intelligibility. Um, so he here is given the range for example, here it starts from 300 and it goes to 600 and etc. So uh, all this um, range between the which is denoted in white, it's used for voice, while um, the range um, used for data is denoted as brown. 
to use uh, the, uh, that range, it starts from 600 till 3000. So a uh, modem, it means it stands for modulator or demodulator. And here is given how uh, it works with modem. So for example, here it starts from a telephone company and how this telephone company sends signal to another telephone company B. It starts from using modems and it, uh, here is appears telephone not to network and by this network, uh, they can send a signal. Mm, so here is given yes another constellation to bend with uh, how uh, for different volumes. For example, here in the first, it's uh, it, in the first, first first picture it uses only two wires, while in the second picture, as the uh, red like circles became uh, more, it used four wires. And uh, here is given about uploading and downloading these modems, how you can upload and download it. And so um, digital subscribe line, it's, uh, it's about um, technology, uh, which is one of the most promising for supporting high speed digital communication of existing local loops. And uh, as for them, we can, so talk one of them, it's known as ADSL. It means um, asymmetric communication technology uh, designed for residential users. It's not suitable for businesses. Next, it's, it's exhausting. existing local loops can handle bandwidth up to one and one megahertz. And it's also an adaptive technology. The system uses a data rate based on the condition of the local uh, loop time. So here is given how this works uh, and um, it, uh, this is a picture that uh, explains us a discrete multi-tone technique where it's given uh, several telephones. Mm, mm, so here also is given about voice upstream and downstream. It's the modem how ADSL works. It says from local loop and local, local loop and it splits to low pass and high pass while for low pass we use voice while for high pass fields, we use data. And in this data, we use ADSL modem. Uh, as for DSLA modem, uh, yes, it's also the same as the previous one. But here, um, the information sent by voice to telephone network and uh, uh, another information high pass field is sent to the internet. Uh, so here is given uh, the basic characteristics of these DSL technologies. So thank you for attention.